So now let's see how we can work with layers in timeline. So this is the timeline of the scene right here and there are two layers. So over here at the top, you can see that there's like a range right here and that is the total time. So if I were to play this around, you can see the playhead go, goes back onto the beginning as it reaches the uh, end. So that is the total timing right here. So I can increase this out as well. And let's say I want to make it for around five seconds right here. I can also zoom in the timeline right here just like that and work around with the time range. So I'm just going to go around over here and uh, restart this size. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, go around this. I'm just going to zoom out right here until I reach the end. I'm just going to resize this part out till here, just like that. And I'm going to resize this part out as well, just like that. So uh, it only uh, reaches out the five second mark. So I'm just going to drag this one out right here and increase the mark up to 10 seconds. So now what happens is that the Tutitube logo appears for five seconds and then the earth map appears for around another five seconds. So that is how it works like right here. I'm just going to overlap this a bit right here, just like that. So there's a bit of an overlapping going on as well. So if I were to play that out, you can see that now there's Tutitube and there's earth map and now there's how Earth map actually works. And that is how you simply arrange things in the timeline so that one thing appears um, uh, and um, one thing appears before another uh, in the timeline in character animator. So the workflow is similar to that of After Effects because uh, the app is directly intended to be worked with After Effects itself as well. So if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.